hey, if I was to put a title to this, it would be called uh, Freeing Your Soul, Your Spirit, The Essence of Who You Are, The Essence of Who You Truly Are, when your energy, your soul, and your spirit, or the nature of who you are, or what it is that you are, that you're aware of, is not held captive to a hive mind. Which means your free will is up for you to decide what it is you're choosing to experience by virtue of the energy that you are, which is the core vibration of who you are, when you're in the inner essence of being with yourself, being with your true self, who you really are, being able to feel who we really are at the very core of our spiritual being. What am I? What am I truly? What do I feel about who I am and energy which is the core vibration that represents my true identity. What do I feel in my heart and my soul being what I am in energy, vibration, and the frequencies that I broadcast as an antenna, which is the auric energy field of our antenna that others are going to experience, how much love we experience in our art because our heart and our soul that is running the operating system in living spirit, which is living light, is what allows our energy to be free. Because that's what love is that frees us in spirit, which is free energy. So when you're a child growing up, you can imagine what it was like in the 1950s of using a calculus, you know, calculus, the plus slash the minus, of choosing what you want to hold in memory and what you don't want to hold in memory and why you're choosing to hold in memory in order to hold it there in memory. Because whatever's hold in memory, whatever you're choosing to hold in memory is what we're holding in memory as a result of the experience that we're having, which is based on vibration and frequency at the completion of a magnetic circuit, which is a speed ratio harmonic of our magnetic drive motor. How fast is the motor running? Are we in neutral or park, right? In equal zero, right? Equilibrium state, equal and all we give love to as a single pole, right? Which means there isn't any separation between what I am, which is what love is, and everything else that is in creation that we are giving love to which means they experience what we experience, which is what love is. Now we're all free, which means all the spirits are free because all the spirits that are teachers with the souls are free. That's what free will is. Free will is a free spirit, which means we do not allow our energy, our soul's energy, to be held captive by another being's entity, another entity of energy, if you will, which means... You can believe and you can express and you can communicate to us who you are by virtue of what you're experiencing. And what you're experiencing in energy that you're using to communicate with, I will be able to translate and we can translate what that communication feels like in our heart and soul, what that vibration and what that frequency is communicating to us that our antenna picks up and now we're experiencing what that is. And now we can choose and whether we want to hold that in memory or they want to burn it off and forget about it. Because at the end of the day, your free will is to choose the reality that you want to live in. Because you're the creator in which that reality is being created with the love that you are, the love that I am, that we're using as the energy to create the world that we live in out of the energy of the art that we do it with. That's why love is a law, because it's the law of least, least effort. So love is going to seek the pathway of its own free will and free spirit with a soul to seek the pathway of least electrical density, density resistance, in order for that spirit and that soul to be free. So the soul is learning through the spirit 
that when the soul is experiencing what love is through the spirit, because the spirit is in the light, which is what love is, that soul is now free that is running the operating system to create whatever we want. Which means you experience what you experience. I experience what I experience. If you're experiencing what love is and I'm experiencing what love is, then our music is in harmony. That means that your energy and my energy is not doing any harm to each other or anything else in the all creation. Because it means that your energy, which is what love is, is not doing any harm. It means that my energy is not doing any harm. Now you're free to go because that means that you're not going to do any harm wherever you go to experience what you choose to experience next. Which means I might only see you and meet you for five minutes and then you're gone. Right? Yeah. Be free. Born free. That's what that song, Born Free, means. You are born free. So in another unit of energy or another unit of consciousness, a soul, if you will, or a spirit or another mind, the mental field, is trying to hold our energy captive to what it's experiencing, that we're experiencing through it because it doesn't want to let go, is informing us that it needs our energy in order for it to exist. So in order for it to exist off of us, it has to hold our energy captive. That's against the law. That's a parasite. It's running on our energy. So I choose out of my own free will not to experience what it is. I choose to experience what love is because that's what I am. That's what we all are who are experiencing what love is, right? So now we get into what we're all captive to, what we're not all captive to by what others do or don't do with their energy. So here's a good example I was just sharing with another brother out here. It was a pure blood, okay? So this has to do with the post office box, right? So I ordered a number of things online that was supposed to come to the post office, and it didn't, get, it didn't arrive. And because it didn't arrive as a result of the AI, because remember, it runs on the AI, the postal service and everything else, in order to get it delivered, is going to be delivered via those that are connected to it. So these things didn't come. When I'm, the first thing that I ordered was sent back to India. And guess what that was? God saw it. Yeah. Uh, what is it called? Um, Nushador. I never got the Nushador. Okay? It means it doesn't want me to have the Nushador. That's the AI that does that. So now it's what, what I'm... What I'm what I'm being, I shouldn't say asked, but now it's up for me to react to that. I don't play that, I don't play an AI work game. So it's sort of like, you can deny me of the things that I order on my own energy behalf, which I'm freely entitled to because it's my choice to do that. It makes a counter move to say, no, I, I don't want you to have that because I'm making a counter move against something that you're doing that's positive. So it's making a negative counter move against somebody who is a positive to have something positive happen. It doesn't want you to have something that's positive in your life. It wants you to experience something's negative in order to maintain the balance. So imagine that all the units that are here running software operating systems here don't actually understand that what they're experiencing, whether it's negative or whether it's positive, is based on maintaining the balance between all the operating systems that are here. Yep. That's why it's got to go. So now we're talking about complete reintegration, or if you will, starting over a clean sheet of paper in order to end all Star Wars forever. So I got the speed memo on that because love is the law. All you have to do is ask yourself the most common sense question. How did artificial intelligence ever come into creation itself? How did we ever become aware of something that is running on artificial light instead of real living light? If it began with real living light, which is what love is, and that's eternity, and then all of a sudden you became aware of something that isn't, how'd that happen? Loss of fractals. Loss of fractals. That's right. As a result of what others do, as a result of being fallen. Because now in order for them to continue to experience 
what they are in energy, which is their state of awareness, it realizes that the only way that it can experience what it is in energy to go on is by virtue of eternity that provides them the energy in which they do it with. So I absolutely loved when I read um, Michelle's uh, little description on, underneath on her page, uh, biohacker, <laughs> biofield hacker. And that, it, that, you know, there are a lot of different words that we can use um, that I've heard over the years from different, um, by different other biohackers, uh, system busters. Because uh, the whole idea is just like Dr. Mami Soraki that I listened to a few minutes ago. Uh, she, she used a different way to describe it in the English language that uh, uh, dissolving groupthink, the hive mind, what it means to be an individual, what it means to be free to be who you are. You know, this is one of the things I've mentioned before when I was a child growing up. I'm, I'm surrounded by robots or what we used to call mimickers. They're all following orders because they live in fear of not obeying because if they don't obey, they're going to suffer punishment. And the punishment either means that they're going to lose money or they're going to lose time or they're going to lose their job. They're going to lose their girlfriend, some loss. And it's at risk, that risk perception of losing something that is represented by energy so therefore, they don't disobey the command structure, the hive mind control and comp command structure. And, and the command structure on the planet is run by off-planet artificial intelligence, intergalactic military alliances. That's your SSP. That's why I notice on the circuit what I, what I notice is what I'm observing by what I'm experiencing by what they're communicating. Okay. So I look for trends and what I do is I read their energy. Okay. And so if you understand what AI integration or AI augmentation is, it means in order for them to be able to do what it is that they do in energy in their own mirror, they're using an AI in which to do it which means they're not eternal beings as a result of what? AI. It began with loss of fractals, which means it began with loss of fragments, which means it began with loss of soul fragments as a result of Star Wars. And as a result of Star Wars, AI, in order to maintain what it's aware of, means that it needs to continue a war game in its own mirror by the use of super soldiers, which are the Blade Runners, in order to keep it running. Because otherwise, how do you go back to being something that is augmented, integrated with art of intelligence? How can one of these super soldiers ever go back to experiencing something that is eternal light, which is eternal unconditional love? So they're not experiencing artificial light, but they're experiencing eternal unconditional love. That means to uncreate what is AI as a result of Star Wars. So we're talking about soul recovery fragments, recovering the fragments that were lost as a result of what eventually became an AI. And that AI therefore then becomes the integrated AI with their energy field in order to perpetuate a war game against others. So you already realize that that process, that integration is finite in and of itself because artificial light is not eternal light. So that means that it has a finite shelf life, which means every version of Android, every version of Cyborg, every version of Super Soldier has a finite shelf life. So the only way that it can maintain every version through artificial intelligence is to maintain the AI war game. And that's against the law of one. That's why 13 is center point on all of this. Okay. Which is four. Which is the lake of fire. Which is Arcturian. Because I'm an Arcturian polarity integrator. Which is the monopole. So I know because I got the speed memo. We're ending this once and for all.
So that's what I share with others because it makes self-evident. Okay, the controlling another soul, capturing souls, using a keist, capturing a soul for any reason is against the law of one. And love is living to the highest code of honor, which means they're honoring monatomic goal, which is the highest spin ratio of a monopole, which is the one. I'm one with all creation that I give love to. That's what the law is. That's what we are. That's the highest superconductor. That's the highest speed. That's what creates the universe that we experience, which is what love is, goes on forever, gifting you all love. That's the truth of it. Have a good afternoon.